I created a paint pour vase and I was reading the comments. You guys loved it. I read all your comments, so make sure you leave me a comment. And so when I was coming up with fall projects, I thought, you know, what if we recreated that on another Dollar Tree item? So when I was shopping at Dollar Tree, I came across this huge tray. This is probably the biggest tray that I've ever seen at Dollar Tree, but I grabbed this gray tray and I decided to do a paint pour on it. So in order to do a paint pour, what you're going to do is just grab a collection of paints and you're going to start by pouring white into your first cup. Then you're just going to add in additional paints. It, there's really no rhyme or reason to it, but you just want to switch off sporadically so you get a variety of paints. Now I decided since this was a big tray and I kind of had a small cup that I was going to do two cups worth of this. Then you want to put some kind of container that you can start pouring on. So I just grabbed this bowl that I had in my stash, it's from Dollar Tree, and I put it in the center of the tray. Now here is the fun part. I started to pour the paint on there, and then as I'm doing it, I kind of squiggle my hands and I swirl them around. This is just gonna add a little bit more texture to your paint pour and a little bit more interest. Once you have all your paint on there, you can remove that center item that you used, a cup or whatever. Make sure you have something underneath where, that can take all of this paint because there's gonna be a lot of excess paint. Then you're simply going to pick up your tray, move it around until you get that desired look that you're wanting and you cover every inch of the tray. So I kind of had to move it around, cover the handles. You wanna get all of the excess paint off of there. You don't want too much paint on there. Once it's, you know, looking the way you want it to look, set it and let it dry overnight. You know, it's probably not going to dry within a day, so just let it dry overnight. Now, since this was a tray that I was going to be using, I wanted to seal it. So I came in with my water-based sealer, did one coat on it. And here's a look at how the tray turned out. When I got to Dollar Tree, I found these adorable little acorns. So I ended up grabbing two of them. So I'm gonna paint the bases of them with that nomadic desert color. I wanted them to be very neutral, very matte. And of course, I couldn't get through a Dollar Tree video without using some nautical rope. So that's what we're gonna be using to wrap the top portion. So all you're gonna do is put some hot glue on the back and start wrapping around the nautical rope. If you can, add your glue to the back. That's just gonna make the whole final project look better. I'm gonna keep wrapping it until I've covered the entire piece all the way up to the little stem. Now again, these are great to put out with plants or books or other groupings that you have. So just put them out with your already existing decor. I 
I've really been into purchasing real eucalyptus lately, and my favorite place to grab it is at Trader Joe's. I love eucalyptus because it lasts so long, and whenever it dries out, it still looks really nice. Well, one of the things I've been seeing lately in high-end stores are colorful eucalyptus. So I wanted to show you how you could create the same look for less. So I grabbed the eucalyptus that had been in my home for probably two to three weeks, and I took it outside. I also grabbed like a little bit lighter than a navy color spray paint and I'm going to spray one side of the eucalyptus and then I'm going to flip it around. Now when you spray it you want to spray from the top so that it looks like the paint is coming down from the top if that makes sense and I'll just flip it over maybe two or three times and continue to add spray paint. And here's a look at how I displayed it in my home. So if you guys have been eyeing this wall art that I have over here, I'm gonna show you how to make that next. So I started by grabbing three white jars that I had. You can thrift these, you can use ones you already have. I used a pitcher and also like two little jars. So you probably already have something like this on hand. Next, you're going to need some sort of macrame cord. I will link to the one that I love down in the description box. It works awesome. So just go click the link down below and it'll take you straight to the one I use. So to create a macrame for each one of my pieces, I'm going to pull off six long pieces of macrame. Once you have your six strands, you're gonna start by tying a knot at the base. Then you can place that big knot on the bottom of your jar, and then you're gonna go around the edge and take two of the strands from two of the knots and tie those together, creating three more knots. And you'll repeat this again. You're gonna take two of the strands, tie them together, creating another knot. Now this should allow you enough knots to hold your vase in place. If you have a smaller container, you may not have to do it as far up. I know I usually try to tie the knots until I get to the top of the container. Next, I'm just going to gather those pieces together and then I will hang it on a stick that I cut down from my backyard. You can use any stick, anything you have. If you don't wanna use a stick, you could use like a one by two board. This is literally a stick from my backyard and I'm gonna tie it to that stick. Now I'll repeat those steps, putting the macrame together for all three of my containers and I'll add those to my stick. You also kind of want to step back, so I kind of tied them loosely and figured out where I wanted the placement until I tied them really secure, so if I needed to move something. Next, I'll just trim off any excess pieces on the knot. I'm gonna start by adding in some neutral florals, but if you wanted to add in fall colors or blues and greens or any colors you love, you could totally do that. Dollar Tree also has these really fun pumpkins on a wood stick. I'm gonna place those in there as well. If any of them are too long, just trim the stick down to where you need it to be. You guys, I love the way this turned out. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this, but this is probably my favorite project in this video. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.